and blown the lid off the scandal. He has impeccable credentials, a former naval officer whose only donations have gone to Democrats. I've heard Joe Biden say that he's never discussed business with Hunter. That is false. I have firsthand knowledge about this because I directly dealt with the Biden family, including Joe Biden. On May 13th, 2017, I received an email concerning allocation of equity, which says 10% held by H for the big guy. In that email, there's no question that H stands for Hunter, big guy for his father, Joe Biden. On numerous occasions, it was made clear to me that Joe Biden's involvement was not to be mentioned in writing, but only face to face. This is a credible witness claiming the Biden family cooked up a deal while Joe was VP, and afterwards they designed a scheme for him to get kickbacks from a communist Chinese energy company. He has hard evidence to back this up. The emails are out there. He turned over his phones to federal investigators. The Senate has his phones too. The FBI interviewed the ex-partner on Friday, and there's an open money laundering investigation involving Hunter's laptop. That seems important. One of Hunter's business partners is in federal prison. The other, Devin Archer, is awaiting sentencing. Now here's Devin Archer with Joe Biden. Biden said he didn't know about his son's business. Right, he just golfs with his business partners before they go to jail. Now, messages suggest Biden was using his office as a cash register. His son and brother were selling access to Joe. Joe was for sale, and foreigners were buying influence. Maybe that's why Joe's been so soft on China his whole career. Follow the money. The Chinese sent $70 million to the Biden Center at the University of Pennsylvania. The school wasn't up front about it, and Biden pulled a salary from the school. Now, what's that about? Joe's campaign has issued very carefully worded denials, such as, quote, there's no indication Joe's gotten money from these deals, or nobody has held stock for him. Nobody talked about stock. Now, here's the bottom line. Joe looks as crooked as Hillary, and the rigged media is trying to run out the clock. Because if Joe wins, there's no way he survives an investigation into his family's business. So Kamala takes over then. And that's the plan. Donald Trump raised the scandal at the debate on Thursday. All of the emails, the emails, the horrible emails of the kind of money that you were raking in, you and your family. And Joe, you were vice president when some of this was happening, and it should have never happened. And I think you owe an explanation to the American people. His buddy, Rudy Giuliani, he's being used as a Russian pawn. He's being fed information that is Russian that is not true you mean the laptop is now another russia 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 hoax and you that's exactly it. what is this that's where exactly going? what this is going. where he's going the that, laptop right. is russia, yes. russia, Gentlemen, russia i want to say on the issue of race you okay? have to be kidding here Mr. we go President? again with russia now joe spent four days preparing for that debate and that's all he's got it's russia now if the emails are forgeries biden's fine so why doesn't he just say that Little advice to reporters. The question to ask, are the emails real or fake, Mr. Vice President? That's it. He can't answer that question. Because either way he answers it, he digs himself deeper. Trump's getting traction on it. And Biden's on defense. The old VP also sunk himself when he said he'd get rid of the oil industry. I would transition from the oil industry, yes. Oh, I would that's transition. A it is a big statement That's a because big statement. I would stop. Why would you do that? Because the oil industry pollutes significantly. Oh, I see. Here's the deal. But That's a big statement. That. Well, if you let me finish the statement, because it has to be replaced by renewable energy over time, over time. And I'd stop giving to the oil industry, I'd stop giving them federal subsidies. We have That's one maybe the biggest question. statement in terms of business. That's the biggest statement. Okay. Because basically what he's saying is he is going to President. destroy... The oil industry. Okay. Will you remember that Texas? Will you okay. remember that Pennsylvania, Oklahoma? Vice <laughs> and Team Biden tried to clean that up afterwards, but it was too late. Trump had his best debate in a long time. He was relaxed and optimistic. While Joe was dark and angry, the president accurately framed Joe as a lockdown artist who killed the recovery. 
And his message that Biden is an all-talk, no-action, lifelong politician really hit home. He was Your there response. for 47 years. He didn't do it. <laughs> he was now there as vice president for eight years. And it's not like it was 25 years ago. It was three and three quarters. It was just a little while ago, right? Less than four years ago. Yes. Go political statement. Let's get off this China thing. And then he looks. The family, around the table, everything. Just right. a typical politician when I see that. They're the one that takes all the money from Wall Street. I don't take it. Jeff, I have. You, you have raised a lot of money. Tremendous amounts of money. And every time you raise money, deals are made, Joe. I don't know where he comes from. I don't know where he comes up with these numbers. Queens. Hunt. <laughs> Queens. <laughs> every single poll pretty much afterwards said Trump dominated. And so did the focus groups. That debate had a very big impact. We're in the home stretch with over a week to go, basically. The mail-in ballots and early voting look great for the president. The battlegrounds are tight. He's right where he wants to be. If the next week is as good as the last two, he's got this. I spoke to Senator Ted Cruz about all of this.